to mention that 160 years ago, Kardec was publishing this book, so 1857, so April 18th, 1857. And the book was not, the first edition was not 1,019 questions, but 500 questions. So in this book, a new movement of ideas was is, is born with the spiritism that in some countries like France and, for example, Brazil, we don't have a problem that to call it doctrine. But I don't know here in Florida, but in California, uh, they don't they don't like this word. So I actually trained myself not to say doctrine because they they said over there that doctrine sounds like you dogma. want to doctrine you and dogma so it doesn't really matter because the translation is right here it's it's up to us it's our responsibility so if we say doctrine if you don't like the word translate it into a word that you like Mm -hmm. get what you like from this experience and just disregard what you don't like from this experience we are not obliged we are all here because we want but anyways um, I have to say that the first time I read this book I was 16 years old and changing my life forever and I just want to say that I have a special uh, love for this book and uh, ever since I never stopped reading it I've read entirely four times, but every once in a while I'll go back. But still, when I read it, it is like the first time I'm reading it. If I read a question again, I will think twice. Oh, what do you think? What do I think about this? So I just want to mention this because today is a special day for the Spirits book. All right, so we are since you are new here, but I know you're going to play along with us. So we are discussing about this book, What is a Spiritism? Where uh, that is a book um, that is a, a result of a conversation that Kardec had with the three uh, men. One was a critic, the second one, I don't know the sequence, but a skeptic and then the priest and now we are going to start today the second part of the skeptic because it's so such a huge chapter so we are going little by little and what do we do it's um, we discuss here uh, the ideas the, the the things that Kardec is discussing with this skeptic right and I have a few questions for you so the items that we're going to discuss here tonight is uh, regarding the self-seeking mediums. And actually, we were talking about this last week. Remember? We were talking, we had an open conversation about the, the mediums. Um, because, of course, mediumship is spiritualism. Is spiritism has been here forever, since the beginning of the the, his, the story of the man on earth because it's a communication with the spirit and our relationship with the spiritual realm we like it or not believe it or not this communication exists and exists right now like the science now um found that our hearts the coherence of our hearts communication communicate with other hearts so in the future, we will reach a point that we will understand, just like in the Spirits book says, that we communicate with the Spirits all the time. We just don't realize. And, and of course, mediums, you find it everywhere. Everywhere. Actually, when I lived in, in, uh, in Germany, because Germans are more like... Um, uh, like like Brazilians, we are like a carnival people. We are very open-hearted and we we talk about things, but not in Germany. They're more reserved. And I found this lady, and she was a very sensitive woman, medium. And then I, I said, what is your story? And then she said that she was in a public transportation in Berlin, 
And then all of a sudden she saw a spirit in the middle of the public transportation. And the spirit showed up to her and she was used to see spirits in her life, but she didn't tell anyone, never, ever. So in, he said to her, it was a, a male entity, and said, get up, get out of the bus here and feed my brothers and sisters. She didn't understand, so she got out of the bus. There were some uh, homeless, because that was years ago, and in, in Berlin, and some uh, immigrants, and they were homeless. And then she looked at them, so she went back home, she made some, some soup, some food, and then she came back. And then she said, 18 years? I don't remember how many years she was doing that, and how she was feeding uh, families, many families. And then eventually, because of that, she decided not to deny it anymore and ignore it anymore so she she was looking for a place back then we didn't have the google and make is everything so easy to find uh a spiritual center wherever i go i look it up and i find one she couldn't but little by little she was looking for answers and she found a spiritual center and then she was part of the spiritual center in berlin and that's her story but there are mediums everywhere they just people don't mention they don't talk about it but there are mediums in uh writers there are writers or in a in a movie uh business and uh everywhere right they just don't they're not aware of but some are some are aware of and or don't talk about it or ignore it but mediumship it's a faculty of the soul it doesn't matter if you were poor or rich, if you were a spiritist or not, if you believe it or not. It's a faculty of the soul, which means that we develop it, the, this faculty, this ability. And then it's passed by uh, our um, physiological inheritance. Is that what you say? Can you correct me in my English? Because it is inherited. Physically, so you get it from your father or you from your mother. It's inherited. Oh, really? Yes, yes. And there are studies, neuroscience about this. And actually, there is a guy, phenomenal, that the guy is a scientist in a in a university in uh, in Brazil, and he the, he's a studies on the pineal gland and the relationship with the 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 mechanisms of mediumship and correlation with the pineal gland it's it's amazing and there are other other people that are doing the studies so this is something that is well known and by this country too and that's the reason why this country sometimes they used mediums to you know, you guys know better than me use the mediums to work for the police and Something they're like still that. working mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. because you know them from by other names like Psychic, psychic. psychic. Yeah, so that term is slowly, you know, being yeah. replaced with mediumship. But it's a slow. Process. There are differences though between psychic and medium. Really, in terms of uh, skill set. Yes, there are differences. Yeah, but it doesn't really matter because psychic is medium. We are all mediums in a sense, but some more. Um, uh, <coughs> ostensive and some some they have more sensibility and some others less sensibility. You, you mean sensitive sensibility? I think sensitivity. 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 sensitivity is what, what is the difference? Sensibility is like an intelligence. Or this and that, really. It's you, the same you, thing. I mean, the faculty is more intuitive awareness. Intuitive awareness. I prefer you, that. Yeah. Intuitive that awareness intuitive. because mediumship yeah. Yeah. is intuition well developed. That's what is mediumship. So mm -hmm. it's intuition. So okay. when you develop more, you have the sense. It's a, the awareness that you have, and you can sense the other uh, beings in different dimensions, and you can sense that. You can train that. We were talking about this in a meditation. Just like the monks, they can hear something far away, miles away, because they expand. Animals, animals do that. 
the, exactly, you know that exactly, really aware of it. exactly. We lost we that. Have, we have to get back. Yeah, to that. we let, we have to get back to that. Exactly. So, well, because we are spirits, yeah. we know about this. We we are just getting going back to this path, but we we decided to go away from this path. We create the worlds of forms, like they say in Buddhism. We create that. We put our attention to materialism, and then, as we pay attention in our, in our life, everything that we put our attention to, it grows. That psychology, right? Mm -hmm. So now, we decided, uh, I'm enough of that materialism. I want to go back right. to my spiritual life, and I want to understand once again. And that's why we were talking about this last week. That's why when we listen to something that connects with our truth, we say, it makes sense to me. I, I don't need the proof to believe that. I already no. believe mm -hmm. that it makes sense. But, okay, so mediums are everywhere, as we know, or psychic, or sensitives, or intuitives, empaths, the name, whatever name we want to give. So in the self-seeking mediums first, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to read one paragraph that Kardex actually will give to you. And I want to ask, what does that mean? Can you read this and then we will discuss? What does that mean to you? Is we the also first. know that the spiritist phenomena are not mechanical occurrences. They depend on the will of the spirit. Even if a person possesses a mediumistic aptitude, there's no guarantee that such a person will receive a manifestation at any given moment. What does that mean? Need it, read it again, please. Uh, okay, all the way? Please, please, please. Okay. We also know that spiritist phenomena are not mechanical occurrences. They depend on the will of the spirit which means not necessarily, not the medium, but the actual spirit who's trying to communicate. Even if a person possesses a mediumistic aptitude, the medium, there's no guarantee that such person will receive a manifestation at any given moment, like at will, for example. Okay, right? so... Or on demand. Okay, let's hear from you. What do you think about this? Agree, focus. disagree. I agree. It basically depends on where you focus, because if you focus spiritually, you understand, I believe your ability to be a medium develops more. Once you focus on the material on this, I think you have less, even though you may have the ability to, I think it's where you focus, mm. you know? Like, for example, this week somebody told me something that I really, and I started to think about it, that my spirit has a body, not that my body has a spirit. You think about that for a second, my spirit has a body. We think my body has a spirit. No, it's the reverse. Mm -hmm. My spirit has a body. Great point. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So that basically answers it. It depends on, it, it depends on where you focus, you know? Mm -hmm. so. mm -hmm. I think that passage really says that yes, you could be trained and try to perfect and amplify your mediumship. But you could lose it if there if 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 there is no connection, you could actually lose. Uh, maybe if you're using it for something that's not correct, mm -hmm. which uh, it happens a lot. You have people that have developed mediumships and then they use it without a good purpose. So even though it is genetic and can be passed on. There is that connection of the it has it has been allowed for it to happen, so I think that's uh, important. I think everything wants to uh, harmonize. A good medium wants to recognize this disharmony, recognizes um, and reaches out and and teaches the expresses harmony, expresses how to achieve harmony within the manifestation. This is how you can manifest harmony from both polarities. 
Sanjay too happy to say that. And he was just like the Buddha wants to be in that bliss sense. And the liquid medium creates a sense of bliss within his domain, I guess, within the spirit. But he, I think that was taken out of uh, context because he was referring to the mediums that uh, uh, use it commercially, and they uh, people come to them and uh, right. and they they want the uh, yeah. <laughs> an yeah. answer, and yeah. the spirit doesn't necessarily is ready to give it, or, or and uh, this this is, is is what it is that the spirit is going to control whether or not he's going to manifest himself. Or her, so. You know, Alan Kardec is always saying that we mistake the effects for the cause. Mm -hmm. So for us to, for our medium to say, I bring you messages from the spirits. Exactly. You have to remember the spirits are choosing the medium as the exactly. medium. Right. That's what they're they're using the medium. Mm -hmm. So the medium is not the one saying, I have a message for you. It's a message from the spirit. Right. Mm -hmm. So we're not we. It's up to the spirits, you know, and as we talk, you know, get into the chapter, the spirits have their free will. And, you know, it's it's funny because when I read that, I just immediately thought of, like, before I found spiritism, I was seeing some of these, you know, mediums, channelers, mm -hmm. and they would say, I can, you know, ask me any question about any person, alive or dead, any pet, <laughs> you know. I almost, I almost asked her to channel Master Yoda for me one time. <laughs> just, I was Star curious Wars to see what would happen. You know? <laughs> but, but, and, and they were like, if she didn't know, you were hoping she would do it. Yeah. Like, forget it. I'm so, going. what is spirit then? Is, so, it, is another word would be consciousness, awareness, all, all pervasive. And, and what's the question? What, what is spirit? spirit? I mean, because we're referring to it a lot. I'm just trying to. In right aspect to it. Right. Better understanding. The of spirits it. are intelligent beings, but these days a lot of people call it consciousness. Yeah. You can call it Right, I know there's like yeah. individual consciousness. Yeah, mm -hmm. but in the spirits book they say it, it's a it's an intelligent being. Sure. But That's fine. so far, you know. It's like a science, it's never said and done. We are going to evolve so far. We can use consciousness. We can use individual consciousness. We can use intelligent being. I think that the reason why he uses that in the spiritist book, the being, is because it's not just a human related form. So when we say consciousness, okay. it, we automatically anthropomorphize it and make it like, oh, it's, it's a human characteristic. But when you're talking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, beings in yeah. general, you you amplify the the number yeah. of consciousness around there. Right. I yeah. think that energy is another one. I think that's a good point. Mm -hmm. So you hear here's one thing to support kind of what we're talking about. You know, the human being, right? Those two words together. Let's think about what it means. It's a being. It's, the it's form human. we take are human. So we are the form of human. There are other beings. If you continue mm -hmm. to study this form, yeah. So, yeah. Right. And they're they're humanoid like. They're human like. And they you know, they have legs and these kind of things. So you can continue your study and you'll you can even learn planets and live on. But um, I think part of um, part of steps, baby steps into it. You know, the conscious is another way without having to get into another type of being and so on and so forth. But And what do you think about um, this? But that, oh, just no, like, Stanley mentioned that out of context, right, he tried to bring the context in, um, but the statement, let's get back to here, is that um, it's just, it means just to me, it's not automatic just because you possess a faculty. And Steve uh, nailed it as well. I think all of us were talking about the same thing. Um, the, the spirit who's trying to communicate through the medium has their will, just as much as the medium has a will to fake it or not. You understand? Everybody has mm -hmm. their own will. They're all spirits. Uh, and they're uh, they're animating matter. That's what we are. We're we're human beings in a human form. This matter made from the materials of earth, right? So, mm -hmm. um, so our spirit is is the majority of who we are, right? And there's just other stuff. But so, just because the medium has the the faculty, the ability, doesn't mean that the spirit is going to choose. You, they can still choose to. The spirit is willing, but the flesh is weak. I pick you. I pick. Oh, maybe I don't pick you. How about if there's one? We found one. Let's go to work. So I mean, you know, think about it this way: that there's a purpose. There's a divine 
purpose. There's a purity in the purpose. And what we'll read in the rest of the chapter, so I'm skipping ahead, is... No, don't. The, Wait. You know, using the word Wait. purity, we'll learn about that Wait. So soon enough. <laughs> Wait. In your, in your choice. Wait. In the will. Okay. Did you did you finish what you were saying? Oh, or, I already finished. Okay. <laughs> Never. Who uh, What I hear there is that um, the communication can only be started from the spirit to the medium, so from the discarnate to the incarnate, and not the other way around. That's what I'm hearing when I it's it's not necessarily yeah. true though like I, I don't the, know if it's true or not in the case in the case of like my friend though she really could channel spirits but it might not necessarily be the one you think you're exactly. talking to or they might not be being honest or you know because it's like because then you get into like well what's what's the person's motive for doing it and then what's the spirit's motive for being there yeah so like what, what you're saying is is true if we're talking about like enlightened spirits, you know, and as we talk about, um, like, I don't know why a spirit would be interested in seeing somebody like make a profit, but you know, usually it kind of like turns bad in the end, you know. Actually, what he is saying is true. Yeah, I said like, that's what no, I said. No, it is true. I, I don't know that. But it's it, the the phone. Chico Xavier said something that we love to give its example. The phone rings from there to here, not from here to there. Never. It's from there to here. Okay. It, what it says here, and this is based on this question, because the, the skeptic saying that, you know, before I go through all these books and study all this, you know, I'd like to see some proof. I'd like to have some certainty even though I pay a high price for this. Mm. And Kardec gives this beautiful long answer, and I just got this little paragraph because it was resumed here that he's trying to say to the skeptic, this is not something that can be reproduced by our will. Mm -hmm. Just because I want it, I will reproduce it. Even though if you have a great mediumship, if you are, if you have well-developed intuition, and it's not 100% certain that the spirit will, or any spirit will manifest. That's what he's saying here. That's all, mm -hmm. the only thing. That is the so spirit's will. I mean, it, it is, a, it is it's important Jeez. to have the medium and the spirits, and there is much more than that. So it is like this cell phone, just by the fact I have the cell phone, does it mean that I can make a phone call? No, you actually have to do I, I need all the things, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. I need a carrier, mm -hmm. I need someone to call. You need to know how to do it. I need to know how to do it. Otherwise, you just have a bunch of numbers. I need to call. Yeah. You can do a lot of good with Yeah. You can have a long conversation. I can have a long conversation. Your thumb needs to be long enough. I can. It's a beautiful tool. Yeah. And also, I can. I need the person to answer my call because I could place a call and the person will not answer my call. It could be. Yes? I could call. I have that problem. With Steve, like <laughs> if Steve is in the spiritual realm, and then I call Steve. Do you think he's gonna answer my call? Telepathy. I don't think so. You know, we're human beings. Not so that one. not because he doesn't want to, but maybe he can't. Maybe we are not connected. I'm mm -hmm. not gonna go to the symphony thing yet. Yeah, affinity. We're gonna talk about it, <laughs> but. <laughs> There are a lot of things that we need to learn about this new realm that is involved. And it's not a simple thing that I'm going to place a call and then, and, right. ah, yeah. let me call John Lennon right now. <laughs> if you think about it, the signals coming from that phone is invisible. We don't see this yeah. information. Same thing. And how can, without that, we have that ability to tap in all this information. Exactly. So who... Who is this? In other words, 
Who is this? The spirit or the medium? This is the medium. Yeah. The cell phone the is the medium. Got those ideas to make right? yeah. The cell phone is the medium. Let's it's, let's put it this it's way. Simple. It's simple. Yeah. So a good medium, as we call, is not the, a good person. The good medium is the one good that <laughs> the good medium is the one that can do a good communication. Can do a clear communication so the spirits when the spirits talk when the other person is talking i can clearly hear it the words and i understand it. and i can capture so the cell phone will capture the exact words which is very very rare i think that's that's important very to rare. know I, i mean some i'm i'm when i'm first hearing this type of thing mm -hmm. i think it's important to expand on even though it's not in the book Mm -hmm. The medium ha is, is an interpreter. Uh, and we need to, uh, uh, do you want to get into this? I mean, because sometimes it's pictures, they're reiterating other that, words. Care for that because an interpreter. You know, I'm just I'm using that word for lack of a better word. Because what I want to say is our language is primitive to those of higher or spirits. Then so translator. So no, so the the media you know so they may be dictating right they they may be mm -hmm. hearing and repeating mm -hmm. they may be interpreting from pictures that they see. They're being presented, so some well, but then the, we the were medium talking has about, its own skill set. But then this is all the that, segments right? of a mediumship. Okay. So, so I understand we, there's some variables there that, yeah, uh, that are yeah. you know, like for example, Alan Kardec, he got four mediums he was working with, four mediums. So one was 13, the other one was 14, the other one was 16, the other one was 18 years old. Mm. Oh. The answers of this book was from those mediums. They were teenagers. Why? Because mm -hmm. Kardec realized that there is no way, because he knew the teenager, he knew the family of those teenagers, and he knew the background, the education, so there is no way they knew about this. So he was asking questions to those mediums. So they were great mediums because they had no idea what they were talking about. So in, in this case, there was no interpretation. There would be dictated exactly. word for word. The spirit was making sure to choose the word. I've got a often. question. It's very important to me. Okay, you're yeah. a medium. I'm not. Okay. At least say how I see it now. Okay, you But are. Does the medium, when when he is uh, when he or she is um, uh, getting communication and and it's coming through the medium, do they know that it's not their ideas that? Are coming through. It's not their words. Does a medium know that as they're experiencing it? Because not being a medium, I can't answer. Okay. But you're a medium. Okay. So it depends. This has things, all the things involved. Self-knowledge, experience in that exercise. So mediumship is a faculty of the spirit So, which means that I need to exercise that faculty in order to understand how it works and its mechanisms. And also, I need to know myself. I know exactly what you're saying. Some do and some don't. Ah, so. Some do and some don't. Mm -hmm. And it, it, it is not, it, it does not depend on the mediumship per se, itself. It depends on other things. So there are exercises required to be a good medium, the one that translates the the exact words from the spirits. So uh, seriousness, actually, Kardec will say here. So you got to have a life because we are jumping here, but we're going to talk about the affinity. So. Each person, we are all mediums, right? One less, the other more. But each one of us, we have affinity, synteny, the the same law of uh, what is the name of that? Um, the, no, the 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 ultrasound thing that Wait. you send, Wait. you send a, a send a, a tone, and then. 
The other one. Sona. Reverb. Not Sona. Um, I forgot the word. The, the, the echo. Echo. Um, not echo. No, it's a law. It's a physical law. It's a physical it's a law. It's a physical law. No, but it's... What? Synchronicity. No. It's not the word, but it's okay. No, it's but it's all that. You understand? So Vibration. each one of us, we have yeah. a yeah. syntony, a... a frequency. Fre not a frequency. Synergy. Not a synergy. All of that. <laughs> but a syntony, like for example, yes, yes. he likes samba. I like classical music. So his syntony, his affinity is with that style of music. Mine is a different one. So every medium will have a different style of communication. I think it's wavelength. Length. That's great. I'm even right. yeah, yes yes and more no. confused now than no, I Yes and no. We will talk some about yes, this. some no. Hold on, because we will talk about okay. this a little bit more. Some over. yes, some no. Mm -hmm. Some do. No, because, uh, no, some because we're going to say this. Coherent and remember, and some don't remember anything. To the end of some do, and some do not. Why? What? That. And there's other variations. Okay. You, Juan has a hypothesis on what that happened, that the, the, is the, the medium is ready, but the, the communication not, not it, always... It always comes from the spirit, the, the discarnate to the incarnate, yes. not the other way around. Yes. My hypothesis is because of the density of this body, it's too dense. So that then that places sort of say the, that ability mm -hmm. to initiate the communication on the less dense body, which is in this case the spirit. Yeah. So I, I have I have another theory. I think is lack of information. We lack information. Yes. There is I'll so much to more. To it. There is so much more yeah. between. Us it's in the spiritual it's all, world. It's all around us. It's in the air you with know, the bones. It's, there's so much more to learn, yeah, and uh, we are tapping into like slowly, little by little. It's our inability to really connect. I think to, so. To be synchronized. I think so. I, I agree with you. It it's our inability yeah. because we the lost that. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we are too material. We, we are too worried That's about my that. ego, how yeah. people yeah. see me, how this, how that. So I lose them. So we need to do this exercise to go back, to walk back. It's, it's, a lack of, it's, a, it's a poor language that I'm using, but to get in touch again with our spirituality. We, we have lost that. And right. now we understand that this is so important for us because we are not our body. We are so much more than this body. We are intelligent being and we have, we have lived, lived billions of years and you know and this is this is yeah. just a little fraction of our life so there is so much more and we can say we can give a few theories of how this communication there is so much more and we should uh, uh we're limiting limit limiting ourselves exactly exactly well, what's, exactly. The reason, what's what was the reason for us to take on this form though why did we do this and why do we continue down this path? Right. We're right. becoming more and more and more. Right. Right. We right. decided. Well, we yeah. We decided well, yeah. to learn. Not ready to. And there is plan. something yeah. on that that you were saying. Yeah. This, this here, planet. this here Child that you like see, yeah. this here that you see, yeah. it's a result from the past. Hmm. It's a result of what we used to think. And we attracted this body. We attracted the problems we have. Do you want to know how it's evolved you are? For our progress, right? So this is necessary for our progress. You, you want to use this planet, this time, mm -hmm. because do you wanna, of the trial and expiation that we needed sorry. to evolve. So, sorry. Do you want to know how evolved you are by the amount of the problems and disease you have in your life? This harmony. Exactly. This course. The more evolved is the spirit less victim, troublemaker, it will be. More responsible. You start seeing perfection in everything. Yeah. You'll be responsible. Yeah. Less resistance. You will be flexible, think, think, humble, yeah. open to knowledge. I think it's not so much that you see perfection as you 
start judging less and less. It's a Mormon acceptance. That's part of it too. I yeah. agree with both, and yeah. I would translate this to you love everything around you. You love. You see a difficult, a difficult family member. You love them as they are. Think about the You virtues, see a right? difficult work or job. You love as the as word, difficult. You're embracing it. You're learning through it. So think yeah. of the virtues, right? So compassion, love, charity, compassion, humility, love, right? If it's a top three or four, that's your top four. Charity, compassion, humility. And so it's all the other love. things stay from that. And love is that, right? That's it's what love. love. That's in there. So, so as you get, when we learn to feel love, good like that, yeah. you're really doing exactly. wow, right? Exactly. All the time. No matter exactly. what happens, and somebody may do something to you and call you all kinds of names, and you don't, you just like. Because you know okay. what, where the That's, diseases you know, come from? Okay. The spirit. On. It doesn't come you from your body, compassion. it comes from the spirit. It manifests in your body. Manifest. And actually, this, that's the last stage. It's oh. the last stage of the disease. It's in your spirit, and the spirit goes, goes materializing, and goes to the body. It's the last stage. Because when you leave the body, you're not a, we are not our body. When we leave the body, the disease is there. But there could be damage to the spirit. Which yeah, you could be. It could be also that you didn't. We are going far away, but I think everything is important. Uh, you, there are some people that when they get sick, the whole family gets sick. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. They I've make everybody that. else sick I've around them. That. Another right? concept is fearlessness. Sorry, fearlessness. Not afraid. Yeah. And you have faith. You. Ignorance is part of that too. Yeah. You don't know. You yeah. don't know something, you don't know the outcome of the, yeah. of the manifestation, you're afraid of it. Yeah, and yeah. Once you know your true essence and where you're going to go, where exactly. you're going, where you're going. Exactly. It's ongoing. And we already find people that they have a difficult life, but you look at them, it's not difficult for them. Mm -hmm. the They're fine with it. Yeah. Exactly. Because they know. They, in, unconsciously, they know. It's where they're supposed to be. It's what they're supposed to be doing with their lives, and they they yeah. are going with it. They are not complaining, right? We find those people. Okay, we will get there. We will get to. Uh, we still. So we have to ah, ten minutes. No. Facebook. But it's nice to guide them through the difficulties. You see, right. some, some yeah. good variations in the Okay, Let's, uh, in question for you guys. Daniela question for you guys. Mm -hmm. says, what if you see yourself being evolved in regards to everyone around you, but you are less evolved within yourself by being very self-judging? Mm -hmm. What do you see? Can oh. you read it? Self -judging. Please? I don't understand. I do. There you, there you go. What if you see yourself being Stop. evolved in regards to everyone around you, but you are less evolved within yourself by being very self-judging. So she learned in herself by external. She, she, she knows what's happening mm -hmm. inside. She knows mm -hmm. inside where she at, where mm -hmm. she is. But then she comes outside and she uses outside us outside as, as a, a reference. reference. And it yeah, down. I would say to that person, feel yourself as children of God as you are, and you're not going to have. Because as children of God, we understand that we are all equal. We, we meet here at the level of the heart. We are children of God. And we should not be worried about others' evolution because they are in different levels of evolution, different levels of understanding. We have a genuine, a unique understanding of life. Why? Because of our past, our transformational past, we have until here. I don't remember what, what path I chose in my evolution. Because I, it would be overwhelming to think about all that in one incarnation. So right now, I, I am thinking and I am open to what, is, what is, I am attracting in my life. Because that is important in my life a problem that is important in my life if I have a difficult situation that is important 
So whatever I am living today, that my life, not a level of evolution. And who are we to judge if someone is less evolved, more evolved? We don't have that capacity. We don't have the ability to judge anyone. Who are we? No, 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 no. We can't even judge if the, <laughs> the path that somebody is taking or exactly. whatever, anything that a person is doing. Yeah. For their, it's, it's for their own growth, right? So yeah. the, the focus yeah. would be on yourself because that's the only thing you can change. Yeah, right? exactly. that's, that's the, the only thing. thing. Yeah. Yeah. It's hard to go, you but you shouldn't do that. Should that. You know, it's, it's easy to do that. You shouldn't do that. Yeah. Like, I don't do it. You should. But we get caught up in that. But yeah. part of the spiritism helps remind us. You can maybe help them with some of their trials and their growth, but you can't change them. They can change them. So focus on yourself because you're here for yourself. Yeah. That's yourself. a reminder. Once you perfect yourself, that will radiate yeah. to all And people. then you might be the higher order spirit, you know, helping all these other humans down here do their thing, right? So think about how this works. What did you have to say? I, I was going the same track. But yeah. Then we, we shouldn't worry about others. I mean, we, I know that sounds bad. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> but we, we, do we, should yeah. Not, yeah, we should not worry about where others are. We should worry about where we are. Exactly. And when we worry about where yeah. we are, we grow and then we guide via the example. Yeah. And then others will follow. I mean, Absolutely. we follow others that give us the example. Yeah. They don't try to teach us. They don't go, oh, you should do this, 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 and that. We just see them doing good, and we're like, oh, maybe I should do that as well. So we should try to do yeah. it. My, my friend said one time, mind your own evolution. Right? <laughs> I like that. You know, don't it, worry yeah. about it. That's the way that you would say. I love that. that. Exactly. Can, can, if Danny wants to use that royalty-free, is that right? <laughs> 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 well, you I, just to use that line, I just want to get to the affinity. <laughs> just get, get. Different. I just want to get to the affinity because we yeah, didn't right. see it and we are going back. Okay. Right, this, this hour goes by so quickly. I know. I just want to let me let me stop by stressing. Kardec is saying the principles of affinity because okay, so. The visitor, the skeptic, is saying that, you know, he's trying to, the skeptic is trying to say, you know, uh, let, let the mediums receive money so we can bother them at any time we want mm -hmm. and we can talk to them because those altruistic mediums that don't get any money, you know, they are not available for us, something like that. He's right. trying to, <laughs> right? So Kardec is, is talking about mediumship here and a lot of you, you guys read or we read this, please read those two items, they're very important. But then Kardec says, let me stop by stressing that every mediumistic phenomena rests on principle of affinity. Strong affinity between a medium and the spirit being is crucial. Why is crucial? Okay, let's put it this way. I play the guitar, right? Can I play a broken guitar? Maybe a, a professional can. I can't because I'm not that good. I will look for a guitar in good condition with all the strings, with the box, without a hole on it, so I can play the guitar. If I see two guitars, one is broken and one is not broken, I'm going to choose the not broken one. With that, I want to say that the spirits, when they want to... Uh, present a message to someone, an idea to someone. They will look for a medium that can express that idea better. Of course, they can do, and some other people, totally ignorant, and there are cases, many cases, but it's more difficult. Why they will have that? There are so many mediums out there. They will look for the one that has the profile affinity to express the message. Mm -hmm. Do you understand that? That's mm -hmm. affinity. The law of affinity is everything. In life too. 
we attract, you know, people in our life. Likewise, although most of us do not agree with that, but we do. Even those that irritate us, they are like us. We just don't agree, but we have psychology to to show that that is true. There's a yeah, there's a basis. You know, you can think even logically it would make sense. I'm going to say it in a way hopefully it makes sense. So, um, spirits work are, are serious, important work. You want to make sure that the message gets transmitted properly. There's a lot of energy that goes into this. There's a lot of things associated with it, but the importance of the work. And then let's flip it around into a human thing. Say you had a secret. Who are you going to tell? Anybody? No, you're going to be selective in your secret. It's an important secret. And you know, you're going to entrust certain people with certain aptitude, some characteristics with your secret. And it was completely different, but think about the analogy. So the importance of the work is necessary to find the right median, not medium, but the right median, for example, which happens to be a medium for transmission of this information, which is very serious work. So it's necessary for this type of thing to occur. This you is what can, I wanted to say about it. You can uh, translate spirit maybe to energy, and you're managing this energy. Managing, if you give too much energy to someone who can't handle it, Exactly. They exactly. don't have the knowledge to know what to do exactly. with it. So you have to be very selective. You have to give a little exactly. bit of information or energy. Yeah. You're, you're managing spirit or energy. Yeah. And there, there are other things also that, to be careful with the with the uh, health uh, of the person, the the well being of yeah. the person. There are so many things involved in that. Also here, Kardec closes this uh, question, uh, this answer with the quote. Uh, as a, a rule, the medium's integrity is the only guarantee of a genuine phenomena. This is for spiritism, okay? Let's put it this way, because when you're talking, well said. That's the way spiritism work. It doesn't mean that that should be a law. No, that's people's problem. What they want to do, they can do whatever they want to do. So, it's in the spiritism, Spiritist movement. That's what we follow. We like everybody that comes to this place, like this idea that you gotta have integrity in your life, that you gotta have some uh, in your life. You look for a wellness of your body, of your spirit, and your mind. Mm -hmm. You are a person that you are not. Uh, you know you're grounded drinking yeah. using drugs you you are grounded you are grounded you you are aware of your presence you are aware you want to do good to others mm -hmm. you want to get your ability which is the mediumship in order to uh, alleviate others um, sufferings. sufferings and and problems that they have, like people when they, uh, Chico Xavier, so many people from so many different religions and backgrounds, rabbis in Brazil, like people that were different religions, very strong oriented in their religions, they came to Chico Xavier because they were desperate because a loved one passed away. And Chico Xavier gave messages to those families and about conversation and things that just one or two people yeah. would be able to know. Uh, uh, nicknames, how they were called, like details that were just impossible to... That they're still alive, that, that the energy is still there, yeah. the spirit is still there. Yeah. And, and, Living. confirmation that yeah. they were alive and so many people they started to believe in the life beyond this body mm -hmm. this life because of Chico Xavier so many people so many mothers there is even a, a, a movie if you want to we can we can watch this movie one day here I have it at home and it has subtitles in English is the, the mothers of Chico Xavier. 
because it was like a club. He attracted so many mothers, so many women that went to meet Chico Xavier in desperation, pure desperation, because a, a loved son or, or a daughter died in a tragic way. And then he gave them the consolation that they needed. Like, uh, and yesterday, Geraldinho, uh, Chico Xavier's grand was here, and he was talking about this sometimes, a message from uh, from a, a loved one with uh, more than 170 pages. Mm -hmm. And this guy was working for free. He died in poverty. He worked uh, everything that, every single book this guy channeled, it was given to a institution, and a charitable organization, mm -hmm. right? And, uh, and it's followed by many mediums today. Others don't. We don't have anything to do with, with what people want to do. They can do whatever they want. But the style that we are talking here, and you guys can think differently and have different opinions, is totally fine. But what we have learned from this movement is that it is much better for you if you are a medium and you don't have any involvement with money. So people will look at you with different eyes. That's what Kardec is saying here. Isn't that much better if you have nothing to do with money and the person comes to you and says, how much is this? You say, no, it's nothing. It's just so you can feel better. It's a consolation for you. Can I ask a quick question? Sure. First, now, when you're a medium, right, and you're getting, you're getting, you're bringing information from the spirit world into the physical world. Like those, like the, the spirits of those, of the mothers, of the, the children. What happens to your spirit? Is that spirit speaking to your spirit and then your spirit is bringing it through to you? How is that done? How, mm -hmm. What's that process? Mm -hmm. So the spirit will come close to the medium and usually touch parts of the brain mm -hmm. or only this uh, close energy will send the information the information so what which is to our, your spirit now your spirit is still there too right yeah the your spirit is present with the medium no, but your in close proximity. Yeah. Oh, your, your, the your spirit is here. Your, your spirit yeah, is there, yeah. and the other spirit. Spirits will never leave the body. Right. But sometimes the medium might still be conscious Sometimes. in receiving, and other times the, the medium is unconscious. Yeah. And so the, the, the spirit that's transferring the message, all right, he is in total control of the message. Yeah. While other times the medium might be actually conscious of that conversation. Yeah, that I understand. Well, but what happens to the medium spirit at that point? The, the medium spirit, your spirit. Medium. Is there is in trance. The medium's in trance. Is it an altered state of mind? That would be a good word. Okay, so your spirit is. Is there? Is there somewhere? And then this other spirit is it's close to you. And you it doesn't go inside your body. It's using you as the as yes. the portal. Yeah. Support. It is just like if I come here and then I say, say that I am here close to you on your left side. But the the ability is the medium's ability. It will okay. sense, and it doesn't hear with the ears, see with the eyes. It it. Sees and hears with the spirit right. Right. from everywhere. Mm -hmm. Our spirit, we don't have a eyes right here or mouth right mm -hmm. here. But it's, not that, it's not to say that the, the actual medium might be hearing as part of the process. It could be. And that the medium might be actually watching a screen, a picture might be. There are many ways. It, it is because I didn't may, say that because repeating, it is so right? complex. It, yeah. That's what I mean. It's complex. There is so, a medium. So many variables. Book. This. Yeah. Um, so you might just feel it's it, you might just complex. start talking, you might yeah. be um, It's very complex, that's not why awake. I didn't, right. I didn't go into or whatever details. whatever words you want to use. It could be in so many ways. But we've seen it here, there's we been... So different. Here. I mean, the way even we see the world is so different, so I think that every medium has a particular and individual I agree. Way. Like, I agree. With different experiences. I agree. Yeah. Even though we, are have, we already have categorized this type of medium, intuitive, yeah. mechanical, this, even though I think in, in that category, 
you have a universe there, yeah. and they are the you know. It's an individualism. Yeah, you know, a unique and unique approach for everyone. Signature. Because we still we lack like information, knowledge about about that, and that's what Spiritism is trying to go like in a deeper level of knowledge on that on that matter. So we don't stay, as I say, shamans forever. Mm-hmm. So we go in depth. Right. Part of Stanley's question, you know, are we awake or are we not? I think we're kind of answering that in a few ways. And it's part of like, an extension to more definition. So I've been, I've experienced both, right? So I've experienced witness. Um, I've been in private sessions where literally the medium is, you know, hey, do you have any questions? You can ask a question. And, and they're silently asking the question, or maybe I ask. And the, and the answer comes through. I've seen here at the center that also in during lectures at the center, uh, Hobson um, was completely incorporated. In the middle of his his streaming his statements, boom, his mentor or some high level spirit steps in and starts talking. And then he pops out five minutes later. He didn't even know the difference. He was back talking about what he was talking about five from five minutes ago. I will show like, you one. Like, when well, we finish, you, I will close yeah, with the prayer, like, right, well, and like, I will show you um, like, wow. a, we call it, uh, really the translation, it, the channeling we call in Portuguese, psychophony. Psychophony? Yeah, mm-hmm. because the psychic and the phony is the, hmm. with the voice. Well, yeah. I'm going to show you one. is writing. Yeah, uh, right. I'm going to close with the, well. and then I'll show you one. Uh, one that like, from uh, Divaldo like, Franco is. Can I just say one more sure, thing? Sure. Just like you finished with Affinity, you just mentioned that he got incorporated and spoke and didn't even remember. It's very important that we're always in a high vibration, so our affinity will incorporate the ones that are in <laughs> high vibration. Yeah, if you're the lucky ones, <laughs> you're right, the right yeah. affinity. Keep the high affinity. <laughs> that's true. It's like, uh, yeah, right? That's true. Okay, we close and then we continue. <laughs> okay. Someone would like to do the... <laughs> okay, I'll do it. Okay, okay. Since we were talking about mediums, Let's be mediums of our happiness right now. Let's imagine ourselves connected through our hearts and minds as a point of light in the universe. And let's imagine that this point of light is growing bigger and bigger. And like a fountain, it's spreading love and peace to the whole world reaching the whole Pampano Beach, and then Florida, and then the waters, and the whole United States, reaching out the continents, and all the other waters. Let's also this peace, let's bring it, touch the hearts of our government, the politicians of the, the, this planet, the leaders, the directors, the managers, all of those that are in charge of a group of people or a city or a state or a nation. May they receive the love and compassion from us. May we stop the fear of war, hugging everyone tonight on this planet, incarnate and discarnate, transmitting, expressing our care, our love for each other. We would like to thank Jesus for this meeting and all the good spirits that brought us here together tonight. And may we go to our destination in peace and may we take what it was best for us here tonight, any experience that we might have had 
and bringing this positiveness to the next meeting. And may we get together here on Tuesday again. And we want to keep this connection with the good spirits and with our guardian angels for the rest of the week with us. Be with us now and forever. Thank you and so much. Okay, while you guys talk, I'm gonna. Someone sent me one of Divaldo.